usually make my daughter Halloween costumes, but she's seven now, and she has her own opinions. So I'm gonna make my own. I have decided on a mushroom costume. So here's the plan to create a mushroom costume. I'm not making a literal mushroom, but more like a mushroom outfit that gives you all the vibes of mushrooms. I'm going to create this by using a very classic red mushroom color and then of course I will be adding spots to the top. I'll probably sew these on with pieces of fabric. I will do this randomly and in different shapes and sizes and then I want to pair that to top with a long brown skirt to kind of give the vibes of the mushroom stem. The only part I'm in the crochet for the costume is the um, the mushroom part which is going to be a top. pattern I am going to use for the mushroom top is going to be my bluebell wrap pattern. I just thought this top worked really well for this pattern because mushrooms are kind of a big puffy thing. This has got the big puffy sleeves. Yarn. Let's talk about the yarn. I went with Hobie Yarn. I got the um, Friends Cotton. Now this is the same cotton I used to design the Bluebell Wrap. Um, so I just decided to go with it again. I was really torn between the kind of shade of red I was going to do. I kind of wanted to do a really dark red. I had a, a muted red. I was thinking about using the uh, this yarn bee, it's called Spice. But because I'm not going to be a literal mushroom, I decided that um, I would just go ahead and do it like a very obvious mushroom, like red, that red color. And I got it in the color Cranberry. This is a one fine fingering weight yarn. It is, um, 100% cotton, which I personally think works really well for this top. The bluebell wrap top comes with a ruffle across the shoulders and along the bottom have white, um, which I think would probably be perfect for a mushroom because mushrooms have white spots. So first things first, we gotta make the top and then we can continue to put the rest of the costume together. And of course, while I make my mushroom costume, I'm going to wear my mushroom headphones. It's been a couple days since I last filmed, but I have made some progress. Both of my front panels and my back panel done. It's going to be pretty much the only crocheted part and then I th I have a, a thrifted dress to wear underneath it. I need to add some other things. I have this pair of boots. I love these boots. I love the buckles and the style but I don't wear them very often because you see I've got these big patches. I think I'm going to order moss. I'm going to glue it specifically over the areas that are starting to wear out but also just kind of randomly all over and make them kind of like mossy little shoes to wear with the dress. And then I've also been looking at uh, how am I going to do my hair trying to decide on that. Curls and um, maybe putting some vines like these I have maybe maybe making myself a little hair dress so that's all stuff that I'm going to be playing a lot around with over the next couple of days and I'll show you guys all of that as well but for now I need to get my top all put together try it on make sure it fits we are done all sewed together fits the way I want it to so now Sleeve Island. Here I come. In the meantime, I'm going to order some moss for the shoes. I'm going to order some tights. Look what's done. Or at least all of the red. 
yarn. The main body is done. It's the biggest part that I had to make and now everything is mostly going to be adding the little details. So first things first is I need to put my white trims and then it will be time to start adding on all of the mushroom spots. I even wove all of the ends in. I don't even know who I am. So what came in, so more progress, is the moss. I got this fake moss. I'm gonna have to break it up and then get out my hot glue gun and start playing around with gluing that onto the boots. And then I also decided I wanted to make myself a little headpiece with some of this. Another thing that got here, and I haven't even opened these yet and looked at them, so I'll look at them with you. So I got these spider webby, oh, you can see it, yeah. So I got this spider web print. Um, spider webs are very like nature plus they're Halloween. Um, so yeah. That's what I will have on underneath the skirt. Um, getting close to being able to put this all together and show you what it looks like finally. And it, this is the really exciting part where I get to do all the little details, which I really enjoy. Um, and yeah, so let's moss some boots. And done. I have finished all of the pieces of the costume and now all that's left to do is put them on, do my hair and makeup, and show you what the finished product looks like. And there it is. There's my costume. that's it. That's my mushroom costume. Thank you so much for joining me for this behind the stitches vlog. I had a lot of fun putting this together and I'm very excited to wear it out trick-or-treating with my daughter in a few days. She's actually a butterfly this year so we go together pretty well. A mushroom and a butterfly. If you're looking for any of the links to the patterns or the materials I used for some of this, I went ahead and I linked all of those in the description. I hope you had fun watching this and if you want to see more make sure that you like this video and hit the subscribe button so you're alerted whenever I release one. And have a creatively spooky Halloween this year.